Laser Pecker 4 came in, and I've been having a great time uh, doing different things with it. But one thing I need to do is uh, address the uh, out, uh, getting the uh, gases out and fumes from using a laser. Now, if you've never had a laser before, and you watch a lot of the YouTube videos, you can easily think that, oh, I can just uh, do this in my house, I can do it in my kitchen stuff. I'm gonna tell you right now, depending on what you are uh, using, if you don't have a filtration system, then you're gonna have to run some type of venting outside, because it, you know, if you're doing wood, it creates smoke, if you're doing metal, there's uh, harmful gases that you don't want to be breathing in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am taking my uh, the little fan and I'm going to attach it to this hose which is PVC hose made for uh, dust collection units for shops and I'm just going to hook these two together using some vinyl tape that you find in your plumbing aisle um, I'll give you guys links to all this stuff and then I'm gonna reattach this I'm probably gonna put a little bit of support uh, probably with a zip tie or something on here just to uh, hold this up so it's not pulling down on the whole laser and then I'm gonna run this tube right out of my shop and uh, fortunately for me I have a pet door uh, in my shop door so I'm probably gonna run it right out the pet door Let's get started with this. So basically this should be pretty simple. I'm just going to attach these two and I'm not going to, this isn't a permanent fix, but I'm going to take a nice section of uh, vinyl tape here. And this stuff's great if you've ever used this, if you haven't used this before. I mean, it, you'll find it in the plumbing aisle, but it's like a sticky vinyl tape and it sticks to itself, but it's really strong. It creates you can actually use this stuff to stop water leaks and I think this will work perfectly uh, for this right here. So I removed the clamp. Once you have it in place, it really grabs great, but it's just that initial kind of stretch you got to get. I'm gonna, so I'm going to start where my thumb is here at the base. try and hold that PVC pipe on there. There we go. That's definitely going to hold better. Yeah. This is definitely grabbing better. That should hold. And I don't think that's going to come off. Alright, so let's go back into our little computer uh, fan here. Alright, we're hooked in. Good. The only thing I'm going to do different is I think I want to have a little support for this hose. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do that. I might do it by just putting a, something around here so it's resting on that. In fact, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. This should be perfect. So I think this is long enough. I think this is a real long one. 
looks like it's plenty long enough. I'm just gonna take a little pressure off of this hose. bit of a just this little support. Let me go a little tighter with that. There we go. Should be good. Can we go up and down now. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I can, I have a bigger uh, laser shroud coming, but it can be sometimes hard to look through here on some things if they're real dark. Fortunately, uh, this being a birch wood, it's actually showing up quite well. The one thing I wish I could do is I wish I could lower the intensity of the red dot. I can change the intensity of that's showing me where it's going to write, but the, uh, the red dot intensity I can't change. I, w I wish I could a little bit. So there's my PVC, vinyl, uh, everything should be venting good. We'll go to our uh, next step. Alright, I'm on beach, wood, 1K, 5 passes. Uh, last time I had to run it two times, so I'm just going to put in 10 passes this time and let it go. Confirming and it should start. Just transferring the file. I'll zoom in a bit for you so you guys can see the engraving as it takes place. Good. So it did one pass. Looks like my placement's good. And it's going to do actually 10 passes um, in total. So it'll do one, stop, and then just start the whole thing over again. But it's great. I'm, I'm not smelling. I smell a teeny tiny bit of smoke, but not, not bad. Like, Yesterday I smoked up my whole shop. Uh, you definitely need some sort of ventilation uh, with these. I did order, I think I said before, I ordered the fume extractor, uh, but it's not in yet. Might be a little bit of uh, time for that. So I'm just using this one, but this little hood's working good. Uh, and I think, you know, if you do like I did, I, this is like a 30 foot PVC, um, I believe it's two and a half inch. I'll put it in the link of the video. And uh, some vinyl tape worked just perfectly for meshing those two up together. And then I just ran it right out the door. You were running out a window. Um, very easy to vent and get it, you know, just away from you so that you're not breathing all that stuff in or smoking up your, your shop area. But uh, I would just say, you know, when you see a lot of those videos, it can be a little uh, deceiving to think like, oh yeah, I'll just do this all day in my kitchen. <laughs> You're not going to want to do that. Um, you know, depending on what you're, uh, on what you're lasering, you could really uh, smell your place up. Like the, the most smelly thing I've done so far was the leather. The wood actually smells great. I actually like to smell the, the, the wood being lasered. Uh, metal, I don't really, I haven't really noticed much, but I do know metal metal gases can be uh, not good for you. All right, so we're done. So let's raise up our hood here. It looks like our little band is holding this time, so we didn't pop the extractor off. There we go. There's our nice engraved set of chisels. Just pan down here. There's the 
Here's my full set of engraved chisel handles with my name. And there is my PVC pipe running out the door of my shop so that I don't smoke the place up. All right, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. If you have a Laser Pecker 4, I, uh, I got one other tip for you guys. So let me give you one more bonus tip. So here's another bonus tip. So one of the things that causes people issues, I'm going to just remove the extractor for now and kind of move it to the side. So you have your dust cap. So here's the dust cap. And I've seen quite a few people have forgotten that their cap is on there. And I'm going to, here's why. So, and I did this once or twice when I first got it. So here's my preview, right? So I'm previewing, and when I hit preview, you see these, your little laser dots show up. And I was like, hey, where's, where's my little box? You know, I, I thought I did, I thought the machine wasn't working or wasn't functioning properly. And I totally forgot that I had the lens cap on. Because the lens only blocks the, the area, the little uh, laser where it's showing you where it's going to write. But the focusing dots are not coming through that lens. They're a different part of this thing. So you'll see when I remove the lens cap, oh, there's my missing focusing box, which is way out of focus because this is way too high. But I'm going to bring it down for you so you can see. But you can see, oh, yeah, it's been there the entire time. There's the focusing box. But if you have the lens cap on, you'll only see the laser dot. And you can easily forget. You think, oh, it's working. There's my laser dot. And you don't realize, oh, the lens cap's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add something to just dangle off of here, whether a little piece of ribbon, like a... The, the end of a tea bag, I'll, you know, my wife drinks tea all the time. They got the little tags. I think I might take the string of that and just let that little thing dangle uh, down there. Or I might even make a cool one with a piece of leather or something that says, you know, remove the lens cap. But I think if you just attach something that's dangling here, you'll see that all the time. And you'll remember, oh, my lens cap's on. Because when it's up here, you don't see that that cap's on. It's easy to forget it's there. You see the laser uh, beam, the focusing beam. You think, oh, you know, it's working. Then you're like, oh, my laser's broken. And it's not broken. You just left the lens cap on. So hopefully that tip will help you. If you keep doing that by mistake, do like I'm going to do. Attach a little piece of string or a ribbon or, like I said, a tea bag thing uh, to your lens cap. So something's dangling down when you have the lens cap on so you know, oops. My lens cap's on, I'll take that off and I'll be good to go.